Waalaikum assalam.
really I'm missing some people there. So let's and mashallah, so proud of those who are able to work and good job in marking. You're at the right place for Salatan. And go ahead, show me on your fingers, on your pledge that we did. How many salahs are we doing right now? Let's talk. We're going to do five salahs a day. So go ahead on your fingers. It's one, two, right now, three, four, wherever you are, you can mark them. Where do you Sister think you are? Maria, yes. Um, last time I went up to the world of my parents and I needed the salon. Say it again. Um, so I woke up with um, my my mom and dad for the uh -huh. and I I, I made it so well. Masha that is so beautiful. So I hope all of us can give a high five. Thank you, Mariam. I see that there. Rest of us, yes, we can try this Ramadan to pray five times a day, right? Inshallah. And that's what we want to do this Ramadan. And you know, like here, there are some reminders. It's a month of forgiveness. So let's become lightweight this Ramadan. And if anybody has ever been angry or upset on anybody, let's just forgive them, right? So this Ramadan, we will make an effort that we forgive anybody or anybody for anything and live a happier life. Now, let's do a drum roll. We have the gift coming in for you. There's a special, special gift for you this Ramadan. Hmm. And that is a very special Ramadan planner that you guys will be getting. SubhanAllah. So this is going to be something that you can do on a daily basis. So every day you can open it up, you can see, you can mark, you can print it out. I'll send you the uh, the download link and I will send you if you want to print it in colored, if you want to print it in, um, if you want to print it in black and white and it has a planner. How many of us would like to see what's inside? Hmm? Some of us. Yes, all of us want to be, you guys are excited. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's inside. So, you know what? Uh, it has like a lot of things. It has du'as of knowledge. And then it has, you know, um, du'a for even citing the moon. Every month you can cite the moon. These are Islamic months in there. And there is an everyday planner. Even there is the du'a that you save and you open the fast. So, you can use that. And every day, like look at this. This is day number one. So you will write here today, I will make dua for. So you can go to day number seven by now and you can read the dua of the day, hadith of the day, and you can even mark what did you do this week, right? SubhanAllah. How did you do? Anybody has any questions or any comments on that? Yes, Aliza, thank you for raising your hand. I just wanted to try fasting the whole day. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Mashallah, the whole day from Sahut to Iftar? Yeah, wow. without sleeping for 14 hours. For 14 hours. You need to stand up and show everybody the muscles, huh? You're strong. Yes? I did it last year and I was six, and this year I'm doing it one more time. MashaAllah. Sister Gumar, isn't that the way I did too. You too? You did the complete fast? Like all the way, like, like mom and dad? That kind of fast? Safiya? Like a whole one? No, Sumaya did. Sumaya did. Okay, all right. And the rest of us, are we trying to keep even like a half a day? We can try from that, right? I did it on Monday, but I did it up one day. Usab, you did one day? Like the whole yes. day? Yeah. So how much, how did you feel? Did you feel for those people? You know, sometimes it becomes, we become so hungry in the middle of the day. And you think about it. We will have food. We can, we can open at the iftar time. But think about those poor people who do not even have any food. Even at the iftar time, they have no food, right? Ramadan Kareem, Sister Juharia. Jazakumullah Khair, Sumaya. Thank you. I, I missed you in the beginning. And we had a gift for you. So we will be sending you the link. We can have this planner. There is a lot of some games also at the end. And so once you will use it, inshallah, you will have fun. And then we will see what kind of, you know, uh, there is a good deed of the day also. And you can strive to do that as well, inshallah. Okay. And uh, so let's today, we are going to move on towards the story. There is even du'as for your salah, right? When you're praying your salah, all these du'as will be there too. 
and uh, you can start you know coloring the things that you've learned you can keep coloring those things that oh i have done this i have done this now let me move to this and let me move to this so just like that you can do an accomplishment so look, go ahead lock your answers on your finger option number one ramadan is a month to sleep and feast at a far time have a great time at a far eat yummy delicious meals and then sleep the rest of the day Option number two, Ramadan is a month to strive a little bit extra and do some more good deeds. What do you think is the right answer? Option number two, wow. Option wow, excellent, mashallah. So there is a pathfinder to Jannah. You can even do that, inshallah. And that's going to be a special gift for you. Now today, we will move on to the story of Musa, alayhi salam. And uh, open up your books on page number 74. Yes. Let's see who is going to show the page opened up on 74. Yes, Elisa. Um, I just wanted to tell, recite Surah Din to you really quick. Okay. Not at this time, sweetie, because why? Because you, are you seeing the clock today? The Ramadan, we have shorter periods, right? So at the end, maybe we can add, you can do that for us. But at this time, let's move on. And by the way, everybody was so happy of your achievement, mashallah. I shared with all the teachers as well, right? So alhamdulillah, excellent. Whoa, now we're doing Nambi Musa too? Yes, so today we are not only going to do Musa 2, we are going to do Musa 3 as well, okay? So today we are going to do Yes, alhamdulillah, we are going to do Musa alayhi salam complete story. And I want you to visualize and make dua to meet Musa alayhi salam. Aiza, yeah, that's you open up on 3, but first we'll go to 2. But before we go there, let's do a little quiz. Hmm, this is from Musa 1. Who can show me in their workbook, their completed workbooks? Mashallah, those who posted also, I'm so proud of them. Um, my sister Javaria, I don't know where to post it. It was on I the class kick. On the class kick. Well, 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 there this Islamic studies class kick, and you need to post the Musa page. Yes, there was a workbook. I couldn't book. find it. Sister Why? Sarah, was on the class kick, there was the I, page. I could not find the, the class this kick assignment. Really? Why? Can, can I tell you why? Okay, then I need to show you guys. Okay, look, this is... This is for, uh, see Zahra, Zahra can you see it? I, every day I feel sad when I see this break. You know why? Because it shows that you have not even gone there. So let me show you from... She's not here, sister, sister Javeya. Zahra is she's there, Zahra is looking. Zahra, you can unmute. Oh, there she is, I'm yeah. sorry. So let's go to this. This is story of Musa alayhi salam. I, I, mashallah, I'm so proud of those who shared their... Um, their uh, what did they do in their spring break? That was also part of that. So let me show you. Who is saying? Isa, you were not able to see it? It's so very yes, I, one second. Isa, I, that's why I was I missed you. I was like, I don't know why Isa is not able to see it. So, um, I was wondering uh, on Thursday why I couldn't find it. I even checked on Friday, but I couldn't find it. Oh. Student. Is admin student Nyla? Okay, one second. Let me. Me uh, too. I couldn't find it. Uh, I know why. Okay, Sadeen and Isa, I'm going to note down your names and I'm going to look into it, okay? Inshallah. But all those who were able to do it, see, everybody, rest of you were able to do it. So some friends do not go inside. It shows as gray on my side, and that makes me sad. I also, I'm sad. I didn't even find it as well. Sister okay. I can't tell you why. Okay, you know what? Let me show you one more time, and I want you to go from your Google Classroom. It should be there. You just click it, and you will be in there. And let me do this. I am going to unlock it for a few You guys, it's on stream. Sister Trovia. I will unlock it tonight. Okay? So. Yes, it's not there, Sister Javeria. Hmm? Yeah. It's not there. Mm, half you half put of the it? friends can see it. Why half but of the friends cannot see it? You put it on a different. You put it on a different date, Sister Jovaya. Okay, let's let's investigate okay. right now. We have to go to the story also, but let's investigate. So this is your first grade, and if I go to the classwork, um, let's see. You have it on your. Tuesday assignment last Tuesday it was there. It's 
it's not there. I mean, I want you to also go right now and see. If I'm checking it, but it's not there. Okay, let's see it. Let's see. Let's investigate. This no, right. now I see it. Now I see it. See, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to refresh things so that they show properly, okay? So sometimes all we need to do is just not give up, just go back and it's there. And that's why I always put like a sign there as well so that you can see it. Okay. So. Oh, you guys are right. I think there's something wrong. So I, somehow it's, I, I don't see it here. It's maybe down there or what happened? It's only Zoom meeting. Yeah. Oh, I see the problem. I see the problem. Do you guys see the problem? No. No. You do you see it? It's it it, it, it is put it. It's somehow it ran away to March thirtieth Tuesday, but that was not March thirtieth Tuesday. It was supposed to be. Or, it ran away. <laughs> it ran away. Another. That's funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Now you should all be able to see it. And I unlocked it so you can see it. Okay, Isa, it's a link. Okay? Okay. So I will give you today's time to finish it. And who would like to tell me a recap of those, mashallah, who did it? Who would like to raise your hand if you want to quickly reconstruct the story the, from part one? Which one wants to be one? And then, Arhan, go ahead. Okay. Um. Most of them do. Let me ask everybody to mute so that I can hear Arhan very well. So I some hear some noises there. Arhan, why don't you unmute now and talk now? Okay, tell us which one should be one. And I will give you annotate also those who want to mark it. Go ahead, Arhan. Most of them grew up to be a very good and kind person. No, no, he no, was. No, no. That's not what we are doing. We are. I'm asking you on the screen. You see which picture should be one. The this is from the last week activity. Oh, mm, that that one. Good job, Mariam is annotating. Good job, you guys can write it. Okay, which one? And somebody that can one. open up your workbook and you can show it on the screen. Those who completed it, open up your workbook and show it on the screen. You have already colored. It was beautiful work done, mashallah. Many of you got 30 out of 30 in that. So you can open up on your workbook page. Very good. Mariam, you want to explain? Well, how are you marking that number? So um, I'm writing one, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. and three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So then um, I know that that what number, that what number is it? Like you go on the annotate mm -hmm. and then and then do you see that draw thing, press it and then Get a highlighter or a pencil. Yeah, so that is something we know. I'm just trying to understand what was happening in Musa alayhi salam story. What do we know from looking at these pictures? Yeah, from Musa alayhi salam, we know that what happened in this story. So first, um, first, um, Musa alayhi salam was born in Egypt. Very good. No, no, first That's there a great was detail. This, yeah, and, and, and second was Firaun. Brown, or the person named Brown, he didn't, he didn't want people. Very good. He didn't want, he didn't want any baby. Very good, because he to somebody talk. told him yes, because that. And then third is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala commanded um, Musa alayhi salam's mother to put Musa alayhi salam in a basket mm. and put him on the river Nile. Very then good. Musa alayhi salam arrived to to Brown. <laughs> Brown's, Brown's place. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. I love you. Very good. Can we all give thumbs up to Maria Mashallah? Great construction of the story. Yes. Nobody was showing me the workbook page number. I think Safiya got there almost. I think Safiya is almost to that page. Your own workbooks, you made this story. Huh. You cut it out last week. When many of you oh, did it. Yeah. So quickly show it to me on your workbooks if, if they are there. I like some of you how you colored it. You made it look so pretty and nice. Mashallah. So when we have the snippets, it's easier for us to go through and see what happens, right? Musa one, this is it. This is it. Very good, mashallah. See, when you do it, good job, I, Aliza. You also open it on the right page. Very nice coming, mashallah. Beautiful. Excellent. All right. So now let's go to the story number two. And uh, I want you to... Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, Nura. I have one question. What yes. does Nabi 
mean? Okay, very good question, Nora. Uh, Nabi basically means, uh, Naba basically means news, okay? So, Nabi means somebody who has brought a news. And Rasul is like somebody who brought a message. So, both are very close together. So, these, this basically means the prophet or the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? So, Nabi has a very important news. And you know, there's a difference between a khabar and a news. Uh, if I just tell you that, you know, it's raining outside, you don't have to do anything. Uh, but if I tell you that, you know, like there, there's a kind of news in which we need to take action. So with the Nabi, when they bring a news, we have to take action. That's that's what we need to do. So really smart question. And I want you to write this in your notebook that Nabi, when they bring a message, then we need to take action, inshallah, and we need to become better people. So now I want everybody to have listening ears on. Listen very carefully and uh, no, no other thoughts right now. In five minutes, I will be asking you some questions and let's see who will be able to answer. Okay. All right. Put the workbook away. Sit in a comfortable position. Aliza, clear your mind from any questions, anything right now? Well, yes. it was about the story of mm -hmm. um, him. Yeah. Um, why is the tree on fire? Yeah, that's why I want you to just pay attention right now and listen very carefully right now, okay? And questions, comments, everything later, okay? So today we are going to learn the rest of the story of Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam's story is mentioned in the Quran in detail, subhanAllah. He's mentioned in a lot of places. I make dua before even starting right now that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you friends of Quran that you're able to read a story from the Quran directly, okay? Inshallah. And may Allah make you of those who are able to hug Musa alayhi salam in Jannatul Firdaus, inshallah. Okay, now let's learn what happened. Like he was like a baby in a casket and he is put into the river and he's going. Now, Pharaoh's wife, she saw this cradle and she asked the people to bring it to, to her and she found a beautiful baby inside. And she told Pharaoh that I want to keep this baby, right? I want to have this baby with us and I want to take care of him. And you know, subhanAllah, Pharaoh didn't realize this is the baby that he, you know, he had seen a dream or something was going to happen with this baby and they end up, Musa alayhi salam, end up growing up in the palace. So Musa alayhi salam grew up to be a very good and uh, kind person. This is an area? Oh, oh. I have a question about the story. Oh, oh, I said questions, comments, everything later, right? Because we have not even heard the story yet, right? So five minutes of very active listening. Okay, very patient, active listening. You can have the finger on the text and I will add a few more details for you, inshallah. So he was also very wise and clever. He could see that Fir'aun was very unfair and treated people very badly. This made Musa alayhi salam very sad. Now there is a lot of detail that is missing here, but inshallah when you grow up, you will read that how Musa alayhi salam had to leave Fir'aun's kingdom and he went somewhere else. At that time when he had to leave, he left with nothing. He had no clothes. He had no food, no nothing. And he had to leave for far away. Why? Because he was a just person and he wanted to stand by justice. And there, you know, he made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah, whatever goodness you send me, I will be a beggar. So he went there and he saw some ladies, uh, you know, trying to feed their cattle, some uh, water, but people were not allowing them. So he, he was a good man. So he even helped them. And eventually he ended up, you know, those ladies took them to their father and he ended up you know marrying one of that daughter subhanallah and allah gave him a house allah gave him a place allah gave him a wife because he was a good man and he was trying to do good things so he was living there as a shepherd for quite a while so one day he like they set out to come back to egypt with his wife because you know when he got married he said that i'm going to serve here for a couple of years when those couple of years were over then he wanted to come back to the land so on the journey, on the way, as he was bringing the family, he saw from far, far a fire. And the Musa salam told his family that, let me check out. I see this fire from far. So let me see. Maybe there is some help available. Maybe we can get something from there. So when he went there, he heard a voice. And you know what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke Ooh. to Musa. Oh, I remember that part, but I'm not going to tell anyone. It's very cool. 
Musa alayhi salam, you know, it's really incredible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then told Musa alayhi salam that you are now going to be a prophet. And uh, it, it is a very interesting conversation that happened and it's in the Quran and this conversation really changed my life also. It's like so amazing. And that's why Musa alayhi salam is also known as Kalimullah. Can you repeat that word? Kalimullah? Kalimullah. Yeah, Kalim means like somebody who spoke. Kalimullah. Very good. He's Kalimullah. Very good. So, very good. So at that time, Musa alayhi salam was given two signs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him two signs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, like you put your staff, you know, your stick down on, on the floor and it turned into a snake. So that was something that can, you know, uh, remind people like it's... Yeah. Like, and then, yeah. And I know what happened next. It was very cool. Mm, but uh, we need to be patient as well, right? Remember, we said five minutes of quiet listening, right, Sophia? So the other thing, I want everybody to do this. You take your this hand and put it inside your shoulder like this, right? Take this hand, put it in your shoulder like this, and now put this, bring this hand out. So Musa alayhi salam, when he would do that, his hand would start glowing. So that was something which was like, you know, will people feel scared of a glowing hand? Or will people feel nice about a glowing hand? What do you think? Yeah. Nice, right? So this was something that invites, and then that snake was something that was warning people. So subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him these signs, and then Allah gave him a very important task. Just like I have a very important task for all of you, right? There's a very important task Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him, and that was to take the message of Islam to the land and invite Quran also to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tell him that the only true and most powerful God is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So go ahead, who wants to read the moral from the story? Moral, moral. Uh, Isa, go ahead, let's read loud and clear. A moral of, from the story. We should always remember that all power is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one is more powerful than of him. Subhanallah. And you know what? When Allah gave him this task, Musa alayhi salam, you know, he made dua that Allah make somebody my helper. And he asked Allah to make his brother a helper. So Harun alayhi salam was also made a prophet. So now I hope this explained. This is just a visualization, this image that why there was fire and why there's this tree uh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke with him, right? So that was interesting. Now what happened when he went back to Egypt? You guys can flip to your right page. Now we are on Musa salam story 3. So when he went back to Egypt as a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hmm, what happened? Fir'aun became very angry. He was like, you know, I am the most powerful king on earth. I'm the most powerful God. If you disobey me, I'll throw you into prison, right? You know what Fir'aun said? He said, Ana rabbukumul ala. I am the biggest of the Lord. What do you guys think? Did he say the right thing or do you think he said the wrong thing? Hmm? Very, very wrong thing, right? And he was even more angrier that you have lived with us, you were a little kid with us, and now you're coming and doing this. So he, evil Fir'aun treated people in his kingdom very badly, and he kept a lot of people as slaves. Remember, he was killing so many babies even earlier at that time, and Musa Salam was even born, and that's why the mom had to put him in the basket and put him in the river. Now, seeing this, Musa Salam told people to leave with him away from Fir'aun's kingdom. Now, Musa Salam did not go and just say, oh, you know what, you can do this and that. He took the message the way the message was given to him. He just told him that, you know, you need to follow one Allah or let these people, you know, worship one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now when they left, Firan found out and he was very angry and he started chasing them with his big army. So imagine, I want you to visualize Firan, Musa alayhi salam with all those people who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After they had seen this miracle, this is not mentioned here, but there was a miracle that they saw how the all the magicians were, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they turned their st sticks into snakes, and then, but the big snake ate all the other snakes. Right, you know why? Because the magician snakes were fake. They were not even real. They were just like an illusion, right? When you make something, pretend to be something. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you're a magician. 
yeah they were they were just making an illusion you know like when you move something and it looks like a snake like for example i have a wire right now i can move it like this and it can look like oh there's a snake here no but musa alaihissalam snake was real like that was a law subhanahu wa ta'ala's you know uh, miracle so even after seeing that these these uh, these people they some those who believed in allah when they left now what happened they came to a point where there's a giant sea ahead of them is all water ahead of them and who is coming behind who is coming behind to get musa alaihi salam and all these good people Quran and the army they are coming behind now guess what they are stuck there is water ahead and there is these this bad army coming behind and they will kill them so what going to happen they look back now i want you to read okay quietly Oh, I know what will happen next. No, no, no. Read. I want you to do R E A D. Read to succeed. They looked back. They saw Firon and his army in the distance. People were scared and worried. Let me see how you can make a scared and worried face. Hmm. Sometimes you're scared. <laughs> All right. I like that. Yeah. So they are so scared. Musa alayhi salam, however, mm -hmm. kept his trust in Allah. And what what did he do? Allah subhanahu wa taala asked him to strike his staff on the water. When you put your trust in Allah, then don't rely on people. Just put your trust in Allah. So what did Musa do? Musa struck his his stick on the water, and you know what? Just like in this book, in the middle, you see this. The water went on the side. Let's let's show some water slide. All the water went on the side, and there is a big gigantic way that became open in the middle. And Musa alayhi salam and the army they went through it to the other side. Now Firon, let's see an angry face. Hmm, he's so upset. They are running away. Everybody, let's get into this path also to get them. So he got all his army inside the water as well, and he, they started chasing them. And guess what happened when they came in the middle? What do you think happened? The sea came back together. Very good. The sea came back together. All the water, everything just came back together. So what do you think happened to Firon? What do you he think? He died. Bye. Wow. You know what? Before dying, he said, "No, I submit. I'm sorry. I submit." And you know what Allah says in the Quran? There's a beautiful, beautiful word. Allah make you like scholars of Quran. That that beautiful word is al-an, and that's such a beautiful word, al-an. That now, now you submit. Now that you saw the angel of death, now you're saying, "I, I accept." So that is too late. So there's so many lessons that we learn from this, and uh, let me see a smart reader who can read the moral from the story very loud and clear for us. Moral, moral, moral. Okay, go ahead, uh, go ahead, Sophia, read it loud for us. Yay! A moral from the story: We should always believe in Allah. He will help us through tests, and I can't read. See, do I? Oh. He will help us through tests and troubles. All right. So who can give a thumbs up that yes, that is hundred percent true. No matter how bad the situation is, no matter how bad the situation is, if Allah saves you, Allah will make a way out. Right? People feel scared of COVID. People feel scared of Quran. People feel scared of so many other things in life. But what should we do? We should always put our trust in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Right? So Insha Allah, when you do tomorrow, you will see the story snippets, and you're going to be putting it together. All right. Not only for two but three also, and I want you to recreate the story, be able to share it with your family, and on Friday's team show and share. I want you to think about some key lessons you learned from Musa Laisana. Musa Laisana was living a very comfortable life, right? Yes. I want to tell you about something about the um the story of Musa three and Musa three um. He died, and the that sea was called Red Sea, I think. And then now people found him, and then they kept him in the museum. Allah put in their mind to keep him in the museum. That that is Firaun. So Firaun body, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said that. Thank you, Aliza, for adding that. That Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said that Firaun body, I will make it a sign for the rest of the mankind. So his body will never ever be buried. 
and that's why anybody who thinks that oh muslims are not right or something is not right they can go and see even pharaoh's body the body is still preserved but you know what people who don't want to believe they go they even see his body it was even brought to atlanta you know what they, they had like in the museum they had like an exhibit here in the uh fern bank museum i think they had this exhibit so even when you see those bodies people just sometimes take pictures with it and they like they take their own selfies and pictures and they don't realize the big message that allah is giving them right mm -hmm. so subhanallah i hope when you grow up you are very strong believer so on friday you're going to share mm -hmm. uh what is something that you learn from musa alayhi salam i'll i'll ask everybody to let's take 10 seconds to make a nice dua to meet musa alayhi salam i really really want to see these videos of this happening in jannah angels please show us what's happening when musa alayhi salam is chased by Firaun and we can see all these videos in Jannah inshallah and we sit with Musa alayhi salam and ask him like how brave and strong you were right subhanallah so let's make a 10 second dua good dua for ourselves Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. You know what? And, and, and next time, anytime something is very hard and difficult for you, just like Musa alayhi salam, you know, strike your staff and ask Allah for help, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Zohar Sayyid. <laughs> Please. Which museum is Faroon in? Yes, right now they... they it's, 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 okay, one second, friends. Let her finish. Zuha, let's let's research on that. I know you, you had... Uh, thank you for sharing your... Uh, I am. Uh oh there's so much sound there. So, uh, Zoha, it was good to see your sharing from uh, Springfield. You went to New York City and New Jersey, right? You had a good time? You had a good time? I want you to research and find out where is his body right now. But it is a sign of Allah and it is around and you guys can see it. Are you fasting? Yes, go ahead. Okay. I, Ayla, you are talking to us or are you talking to somebody else? Ayla? Last time's over. Yes, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, but I was raising my hand. That's why you guys can realize that why I was going so fast because the class time is very short this time, right? So Friday, I will look forward to listening from you. You guys can always research. You can add more details that you know about Musa Alayhi Salam. Thank you, always, always. Assalamualaikum. One second, Ayla. I didn't let you go right Aiza, now. Aiza, not okay, Aiza. You need to wait. <laughs> Ayla, that was Ayla. So I, yeah. I'm sorry, Ayla. Yeah. So Ayla, yeah. I want you to research and only take story that is from Quran. Okay. Don't take from something somewhere else. Whatever Allah told us in the Quran, that is something we're gonna share on Friday's team show. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Rahmatul Abrakatu. And don't forget. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Rahmatul Abrakatu. Those who are still here, don't forget to give mom and dad a big hug. Okay. For everything that they. Assalamualaikum. 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 Rahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Zoha, you can always research and share that in your Friday's team show and share also. Like, where can you see it? Right Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Waalaikum salam. Yes. Could I, instead of reading Surah Teen, could I read Surah Nas? Okay, go ahead. You can even recite Surah Teen right now. If you want. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa tini wa zaytun. Wa turi sinin. Wa hadal baladil amin. Laqad khalaqna al-insana fi ahsan taqawim. ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير MashaAllah, we missed in the last, I think the voice kind of went away, but Jazakumullah khair, but Arsenal Jaza, Aliza, Allah SWT increase us all in beneficial ilm and amal. Myra, you good? Mm. Yes, Alhamdulillah, and Shayana, I like your sharing also on the Ramadan, MashaAllah, Jazakumullah khair, so I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time, and inshallah, see you next week. That is so beautiful. Good job, MashaAllah. What is that, Shayana? What did you make? So these are a few lanterns I made. I'm going to make more of those. 
Prophet Musa is the also best. MashaAllah, excellent. And he was Kalimullah. You can always add that detail there, right? Allah, he spoke with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we can all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help us be of those who will, inshallah, see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and speak with him, right? Um, what is the spelling of Kalimullah? Uh, you know, in Arabic, it's kaf, lam, ya, and meem. But in English, you can write K A L E E. I can type it for you here. Kalimullah. Okay? All right, you have a rest of wonderful day ahead, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Imanillah. You got it, Chayana? Yep. All right. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashadu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka tu bihamdika.